Hi everybody, it's Geordie from Geordie's Cards here for Happy Doodle today and I am very excited to be bringing you this cute little Halloween card. So I can't believe that we are getting close to the end of October already. This year is going so fast and I thought it was time I made a few Halloween cards. So today I am using the Fantastic Furballs stamp set. This comes from the most really recent release and I have the coordinating dies. I'm also using the Let's Hang Out stamps and coordinating dies, which came from last year's Halloween release. I have the Cathedral Window die set and the Bits and Bytes stencil. So I have colored and cut out all of my little images here. I just adore that little bat. I think he is so cute. And the little spider is gorgeous as well. The little doggy, I've colored him in with some brown spots and I uh, just thought that was a lot of fun. I have taken some holy mackerel cardstock and used that cathedral window die to cut that aperture from it. So I used the smallest die there which cut the aperture and also cuts that frame piece which I cut from some black cardstock and that's going to go on the inside. So to start off with I'm going to be using my Bits and Bytes stencil to create a bit of a brickwork look on my grey cardstock here. So the idea of this was that it's kind of like a, um, a gothic style castle which uh, holds my little uh, witchy dog who is brewing up a magic potion in one of the rooms of the castle and the little bat and spider are hanging around the outside looking in and watching all the fun that's going on on the inside. So that, that was the thinking behind this one. Quite an elaborate story to this one. Um, so I wanted to make it look like brickwork on the outside of the castle and I thought this Bits and Bites stencil worked really well for that. And just look at it, it's so fun. So once that stenciling was done, I'm going to take the spider web from the Let's Hang Out stamp set and the sentiment from the Fantastic Furballs. And I've stamped the spider web with some white pigment ink and the um, sentiment I've done with some white heat embossing powder. Now I've just taken a scrap of the extra thick acetate from Heffy Doodle and I'm going to place that onto the back of that aperture there so that it looks like a window. And then I can take that black frame piece that I had already cut and just glue it into the um, inside of that aperture. So it does look like a Gothic arched window and I just thought this was lots of fun. Um, so once that is in place, I am going to probably wipe it down a little bit because I did find that I had sticky stuff everywhere and for some reason my acetate got little bits of sticky stuff all over the place. So in a bit here I'll take a paper towel and wipe all of that up but in the meantime I'm figuring out where my little critters are going to go on the outside. So I want my little bat to look like he's flying across the window and then my little spider to look like he's hanging out in that spider web on the right hand side there. I'm going to glue them down again just with liquid glue. I'm not using any foam tape for this part of the card. I will do in a little bit just to give it a little bit of dimension but not at this point. So just gluing those flat there and don't they look so cute. Now I realize my card is very gray. <laughs> so to add a little bit of color, I have this banana split cardstock and I'm going to trim it down so that it fits in behind that panel there. And this is going to create the inside of my castle. So it looks like there's a nice glow on the inside of the castle. So here's where I figured that I had a little bit of smudging on that um, acetate. So I'm just going to wipe it off, buff it off with that paper towel. And then I can start assembling the kind of inside portion of my front panel. So I have colored and cut out all of my little doggy and cauldron images along with lots of green bubbles, which are going to be coming out of my cauldron. So I've attached the witch's hat to the dog there and then I'm going to start attaching all of the little bubbles into my cauldron. Now the great thing about this stamp and coordinating die set is that the die cuts a little slit in the top of your cauldron there so you can slip things inside it which is really handy for attaching all of these bubbles so that they look like they're spilling out of some sort of magic potion that this little doggy is brewing up. Um, it's so much fun and you can put other things in there. There are um, a couple of other little dogs in the stamp set which can look like they're popping out of the cauldron and I think that's super cute as well. But I just love this little added detail um, and it just makes life a lot easier. You don't have to worry about fiddling around with a craft knife to do this. So I'm just 
gathering. I think I coloured in six of the little bubble pieces and cut them out. So I'm just kind of fiddling around with them and trying to place them in so that it looks like I've got this nice big bubbly green potion. I don't know what he's brewing up. <laughs> Maybe he's making some uh, some sort of um, magic potion to turn him into a human for the night. I don't know. <laughs> would you want to do that if you were a dog? I really don't know what a dog would want to brew up, but he's lots of fun. Okay, so I just want to kind of create this um, into one large piece that I can then stick down into the correct place. So I'm gluing the dog to the cauldron so that they are attached together, which makes life easier when I come to the next step, which is figuring out where he is going to fit in the side of that little panel. So once I'm happy with the placement, I realize this isn't very scientific or accurate, but once I have, um, have him in kind of the right spot, I'm just going to lift up that top panel, hold him down in place, and just add a couple of little pencil marks where he is going to stand so that I can go ahead and glue him down. Again, just using liquid glue for this step, to glue him flat to that yellow cardstock panel. So I've got my little pencil marks there. I can just line everything up again and make sure he's in the right spot. And then I can check with my little window over the top that it's going to work and it does, thankfully. So then I decided I did need a little bit of foam tape here. So I'm pulling out some rather thin foam tape. I didn't want too much height on this. So this is um, just Scotch 3M foam tape and it's relatively thin and I can just add a tiny bit of dimension without going overboard. So I'm going to use that to line up all the way around the edge of my card. I just wanna keep making sure that I'm not gonna see any of that foam tape when um, you kind of look through and it works perfectly actually all fits in rather nicely, <laughs> which um, is surprising because, you know, I hadn't really planned all of this out. It kind of just came together as I was doing it. So it's always a pleasant surprise when things go to plan. So I'm just going to, again, double check everything's in the right spot. Once I'm happy with that, I can peel off the liner tape of, sorry, the liner paper of that tape and glue the front panel down onto the back panel there and that creates the front of my card. And I just think it looks ultra cute. So all that's left is to attach it to a standard sized card base. This is at five and a half by four and a quarter inches. It's a side folding card and I'm going to glue that down on there and that is it, card complete. I really had a lot of fun with this one and I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to our Happy Doodle channel and please check out these other videos that you might enjoy as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. Take care.